Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are going to be trying out some new cards from the Brothers War during early access event thanks to Wizards. Uh, today we are going to be playing Standard Best of One against a bunch of other streamers, and we are going to be trying out a Jund Reanimator Ramp uh, Titania Meld deck. So a bunch of new cards from this set. So we have Titania Voice of Gaia, uh, 3 mana, 3 4 reach. Whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, you gain 2 life. Bidding your upkeep, there are four more lands in your graveyard, and you control the a specific land. You get to meld the cards into Titania, Gaia, Incarnate. Uh, Vigilance, Reach, Trample, Haste. Bring back all the lands from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, and then for four mana, you get to animate lands into four, four, put four, 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 one, one counters, animate lands, smash face, just big chunky chunks. Um, and the land itself is Argoth, Sanctum of Nature. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary green creature. Um, and then for four mana, we can mill and create bears. Um, but we're playing it in like a Jun self mill deck. So Soul of Wind Grace, you have stuff like Riveteer's Outlook to kind of get value. Uh, Cruelty of Gix as a way to reanimate stuff and tutor for spells. Uh, we got some of the big boys. Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, seven mana, seven five, Menace Lifelink Ward, uh, but could also be cast for its prototype cost being a three mana, three three with the same text. Um, and then we have Cityscape Leveler, 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight, Trample, when, it, when you cast a spell and when it attacks, destroy up to one target, no non permanent, its controller creates a tap power stone and you can unearth it and basically cast it from the graveyard uh, with haste and then it sacrifices at the end of the turn. Uh, this works nicely with like Fable the Mirror Breaker, we can copy these as well. Uh, this puts cards into the graveyard, Teachings puts cards into the graveyard, Redstein puts cards into the graveyard, then we got some removal options, Cut Down, Go for the Throat, Terra Ascender. Uh, all flexible removal spells, Blood Tithe Harvester to kind of piece together the deck, another way to put lands into the graveyard, uh, one of uh, Unleash the Inferno as well. So this isn't a fully refined list. We're going to be playing some games, seeing how it goes. We tried out Soldiers already, uh, made some changes. So I would stress the deck list you see right now may not be the final deck list. As we run through games, we're testing out new cards, so we're including more. Something like Go for the Throat might be good, might not be good, but we'll have to see how it plays out in practice. Um, there are like a lot of interesting cards in the set and we want to test them out and see them in this sense. Five color hub playing against. Um, seems fine. We'll go Zeatora here because if I can hold this for the Titania turn it's pretty good. Classic need a line draw an eight drop. Got Bant Ramp on the opponent's side. So we'll play that out because then I can do it with. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because now my Titania. This comes into play untapped had we had it. So Surge Engine, a new card, loses Defender, becomes a 5-4, and then draws you cards. So next turn, yeah, I messed that up. I should have still played this on two, because then I could have got it back with Soul of Wind Grace next turn, and then had the untap lined. So we have like the cards together, we just need to get some lines into the graveyard. Go for the throat, notably cannot hit Surge Engine. So we're seeing our first instance of this not working as we wanted. Can't be blocked also, very unfortunate text. So we'll gain three life here. We're gonna get another black source, which we're missing right now. And then it's probably just holding go for the throat here. This could be a wandering emperor, so we're not gonna attack. Wishing this was infernal grasp. But take him off a point of mana. Could see something like Elspeth come down. So 
we'll probably get a another black source off Wind Grace here. Twenty six lions. We're just drawing all our top end here. Uh, probably want another block source. Just gonna pass the turn. I don't want to attack here. With Titania, at least. They can Demolition uh, Field, which is a new Field of Ruin, but it gets us access. I just don't want to play into, like, a Wandering Emperor. We could go Flush Gorger here, which we're probably going to do next turn. I can go Cruelty of Gix, get out a copy. Like this attacking is fine. We're also gaining a bunch of life. Notably they only have one blue mana. This requires two to activate. can level this up to a 3-2. They're chunking at us. So I'll attack with Wind Grace here. We're just going to ramp up. This combo is actually working really nice just to gain us a bunch of life. Yep, as expected, we see the Wandering Emperor. I hope you're ready to lose. This is what you get for hurting. So we have a decision here. Um, I can go this, get another card, but I think we're just doing this. Take the other Wandering Emperor. What's this do? Target creature gets minus five five. Remember your training. It's fine. We can reanimate Titania. So I'm gonna get Terra Sunder here, and we're gonna get rid of the Surge Engine. We're just close to dead, actually. Um, we're one short there. Unleash Inferno doesn't do enough. So we'll do this. We're dead anyways. The unblockable's been like really good on those surge engines because we'd be able to kind of get around this, but the wandering emperor's kind of got us in there. Needed one more turn. We had all the top end that game, but none of the enablers. We saw a bit of the engine though. Unblockable early. And then go for the throat. We might just want to be off go for the throat, to be honest. Just play like Infernal Grasp or Obliterating Bolt. Just something a bit more consistent. We'll give it one more shot. If we notice like a lot of artifact decks, then I'll move off it. Um, we'll keep this. So 
So here we have a lot of enablers. We just need to find our meld combo pieces. That's a good one. We can get an untapped line next. Fortunate we uh, milled over a cruelty here. Alright, soldiers. Got a red source here. It's kind of unfortunate that we had these come up. If we would have been able to go Fable here, it would have been really good. So this could be the Flash one, but let's just get Wind Grace going. Should be able to run away with this one now. They're going to have a hard time beating a Flush Gorger. So, Exile, target card from a graveyard. If you do target creature, you get a token. Um, so, I could go Titania. I can get Fable going. I think we just do this for the turn. Let's get rid of Rescue Retriever. Protects their board. Uh, let's go Redland here. I want to be able to cast this Flesh Gorger next turn, so we're just going to do this. I know they can trade, but I'm largely okay with it. Because next turn, like, 7-5 Menace Lifelink Ward, they're going to have a hard time dealing with it. And then we have this to, like, reanimate anyways. We got Darian. I will trade with the Veteran if they attack. Honestly, it's... Probably Titania. Like, we can get the Angrath here. Let's me go live to the other ones. I can just go another Cityscape. Go Titania. I want to melt. So I can play this, but I want to melt. I don't think we're in any risk of dying here. And I'm going to reanimate that next turn. And then I also want to copy it with Fable, so we're going to kind of show off. We're just playing like Big Tron. Get this bad boy next turn. How many lines we have in the graveyard? Three. Okay, brokers can let them go pretty big. But City can just start smacking face. How many lines? One, two, three, four. Next turn.
Oh, I could have discarded the lion to enable it. Good to know. Following turn. That can enable me to find that, because I would have had the lion that I needed. It's fine. Like I said, we're not playing like... I should have just the previous turn played Flush Gorger. Oh, yeah. Now we're, now we're chilling. Let's blow up King Darian. Rescue Retriever! some life no more lands we're gonna titania next turn we'll set it on their end step surprise titania we can also just get that from the graveyard. Go flawless victory. All right, Titania time. Casual 13, no more lands to find. Each instance gains us three life. Doesn't really matter at this point. Um, I don't know what I'm blowing up, but yeah, blow up that. Blow up that. <laughs> Uh, target a creature you control. Titania. More lands. All the triggers. Super dead. Alright. That felt pretty sweet. So I think we want some more early game. And we might want to tweak our mana base slightly to be able to curve. We have a lot of tap lines early, which I'm not loving. Um, we want black and green early, so there's the new pain land. Get line of our wastes. And then we'll probably, I, I don't think we're going to unleash Inferno much. Things are really expensive. Rudstein's fine. Terras is fine. So maybe go one go for the throat. We could have Voltage Surge. What do we have as artifacts? Treasure, treasure. Probably just Infernal. Let's split the difference and then also go Voltage. Just kind of play like that. These we probably just want three and I can see us wanting more copies of Cruelty here.
we might want an answer to planeswalkers. Like a single copy of Soul Transfer. Just gives us the ability if we need to tutor to get rid of like a Teferi or something. It also can buy back our threats. Rutstein might be too cute, but it's another enabler. This one's been fun. A lot of good cards. So we'll see. I want to play a Gix deck, I think. I like my aggro decks that also draw cards. See if we can find an opponent. Black Mana MTG. Will they be on Mono Black? Stay tuned to find out. This is where it gets a little awkward mana base wise. Like, we really want a basic because we're playing a turn behind here. Um, enter the battlefield tapped, return it from the graveyard to your hand. We might just play this tapped and then play this. Okay. A lot of lions in the yard, which is a good start. Camp block, return from graveyard to the battlefield with one encounter. This ability costs one less if opponent controls four more non basic lands. So, this is the new uh, names I'm forgetting. Uh, cranial, not cranial plating, skull clamp. So, here. We'll go another teaching here. So the nice thing here, I have Terra Sunder that can get rid of the crown. I think we're just gonna change plans. We're gonna get rid of Anvil here. This is very awkward that we drew our one go for the throat. No blocks here. Okay, when grace is great. So we'll get the Proving Ground here. I can discard a Lion to gain some life. We just pass in. Go for the Throat just seems awkward as hell here. 4-2. So if I eat a creature, I don't get it, but another Razor Lash. I think we hold 
Now nah, let's attack. So we kill two of their things. Gives me some fodder for next turn if I want to eat something. I'm going to just cycle this go for the throat most likely. Okay, so they got the dragon engine. They're probably on Mishra. I think that's fine. So I'm gonna hold till next turn, but mind you, this might make sense if they're showing the dragon engine that I hang on to it. Because I'm gonna eat this. I don't want that coming back. Token. I think we're getting rid of Dragon Engine here. Like they're drawing cards, but this crown's been gross. This could only be a sorcery. Should have done it. I need a Gix. I need a Flesh Gorger. So we're probably going to cycle this now. Continue. They can get it back. The fact they can't block is okay because now my wing grace can attack in. Only got one land in the graveyard. Blood Tide, so they do have enough blockers present. Okay, Infernal Grasps also nice here. So let's kill this. So we're going to get rid of the dragon engine here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got enough. So I can go Cityscape Leveler next turn, and then just start blowing up stuff. We're just gonna keep, uh, keep on eating these things. So I need to do this now. So 
So we're going to get rid of this. Oh, that's actually a really good one. Because this just starts letting me gain life. Blow up blood ties. Just start Riveteers. Thins out my deck and also gains me a bunch of life in the process. Okay, might have stabilized. Cityscaper can start blowing up stuff. They're going to have a hard time dealing with an 8-8. And then if anything, I could unearth it. Permanence. Ward, sack a permanent. They could get unearthed from stuff. It's fine, because we can sack a land and then I can get it back with Soul of Wind Grace. So, blow up you. Just sack that. Get Riveteers. I could get the Blast Zone going as well, but this is more fun. All right. We might want like an underdog just as something to draw us cards. Let's do that instead of Rusty. We can do Actually, no, Urborg Repossession just targets creatures. Like, Dig Up is fine, but we don't want to necessarily find our basics. We want our, uh, our lions to go find them. This is a little awkward. Because I can't Blood Tithe on. It's a couple games now in a row. Got black mana here. Azusa. So we can go Wind Grace next turn. This could be a Titania deck as well. Could just be a ramp into big dumb things deck. Question is I think getting Wind Grace going is important. Get a red land here. Because next turn I can harvester, have enough blood to get it out of the way. I can also get rid of Azusa. Five mana. Okay, so they're at a lot of mana. Get rid of that. So I can go Flesh Gorger next turn. And 
and I do have Terra Sunder for whatever big threat. So I get to kill whatever big threat they have, untap, drop my 7 5. And then this Exiles, which is nice. Okay, it's a good start. Cycle your land. Another Loam Speaker. Okay, well, change of plans. Here's my big boy. I ramp harder than you. Well, it's not the land I wanted. I clicked that too quick. I wanted my Riveteer's Outlook. But that'll do. I always forget this can target your opponents. Oh, this is probably the um, look forward. Um, honestly, it's just getting the creatures off the battlefield, I think. So we melded once. This cityscape leveler has actually been really good. So if they block wrong, I could potentially get them, but it looks like they're just chomping here. All right, whatever. Here's my seven five. You can't technically kill it. So they're looking for the look forward that basically polymorphs all your stuff into big stuff. Cool. Get him, got him good. This deck felt sweet. Mana was a little bit to be desired. Honestly, even with the Blood Tide Harvester, we might just want to scale those up, just have more early interaction, but it really is dependent on the meta. Um, Having access to a sweeper maybe, trimming down one of these, do like burn down the house or something, uh, would also kind of play into effect. But I like the deck. Let me know what you think. These cards were good. Um, kind of on the top end, we got Titania once, but the life gain kind of plays nicely in the shell as well. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great one. Stay safe out there.